Hey guys, it's Josh Harris here with Queen and Colony Bee Company and this year we're going to be putting out more content on our YouTube channel and just walking you guys through what we do all year to run our beekeeping operation here in Tampa Bay, Florida. And this first video I want to talk about um, feeding our bees to stimulate early brood buildup. Um, right now the queens are just getting into that mode where they want to lay eggs. We have um, pollen starting to come in, the willows blooming, the maples blooming, um, the Spanish needles blooming right now. And so there is quite a bit of pollen, not a lot of nectar. And so one of the things we like doing is feeding our bees a one-to-one -one ratio mixture of sugar syrup. And this really seems to boost them into brood production mode. And um, there's a couple reasons we like to do that. Number one is we make a lot of nucleus colonies in the spring. And so that just allows our production colonies to get a lot more brood, a lot more um, bees earlier so that we can make splits come about usually mid to end of February. February, we start making our splits. And also when we bring bees to orange blossom, we like to build them up and get that population stronger a little earlier because about the end of February, beginning of March is when that um, nectar flow from the orange grows really kicks in. So it allows us just to get those bees boosted up a little early. Now we just run about 150 colonies. We're not a really large scale beekeeping operation by any means. And so I wanna show you how we mix up our sugar syrup and how we feed our bees. So here I have a 25 pound bag of sugar, a five gallon bucket. And this was one that I had honey in. So it still has a little residual honey, which is fine. And then I just use my utility sink here in my garage using the hot water. I wait till it gets warm. And I'm just going to cut open this bag and pour all the sugar, 25 pounds, into the five gallon bucket. And then I have a drill here with a mixing paddle this is used usually for mixing up drywall compound but it works great for mixing sugar syrup as well i just start filling that bucket with warm water as i begin mixing the sugar in And I want to mix it well to make sure there's no clumps of sugar on the bottom when I'm done. And there we go. I'm going to mix it a little better. And that will make about 50 pounds of sugar syrup. I am not a large scale beekeeper by any means. I keep about 150 colonies and this method works fine for me. I'm gonna put the top on this bucket. And then when I get as much syrup as I want mixed up, I will bring these out to my bee yard where I'll transfer them into one gallon feed buckets that I use um, to feed my colonies and I do mostly top feeding and so this works really well for me doing a, a small to medium size operation while well, I'm here at a bee yard this morning it's pretty cold it's about 50 degrees the bees are just starting to fly a little bit and I'm gonna be feeding some of these colonies getting them ready to start making splits next month and so I have my buckets of sugar syrup one-to-one -one mix and then I have my top feed buckets these are one gallon buckets I just have some holes drilled on the top small holes and then these lids feel um, seal pretty good and that's what I use to feed these so I'm gonna get filling these up and put some feed buckets on these colonies one of the things I like to check is on these holes sometimes the bees will fill the holes up with propolis or wax and so I just have a little poker here something in my truck and I'll make sure that syrup 
will come out easily. Now I have my buckets with the lids off all lined up. I'm going to start taking the syrup in these five gallon buckets and just pouring it in and filling these buckets. Now that I have all these filled, I'm just going to go along and start putting the tops back on them, making sure they're sealed well. All my buckets are full, getting ready to put these on the bee colonies. The bees are starting to fly a little better now. So I'm going to go ahead and put my jacket on with a veil just in case the bees are in a bad mood when I open up the top of these hives or just the, um, the holes that the feed buckets go on top of. And we'll get feeding these bees. I'll show you what I got here. You clean this yard up. Last time I was really working this was pulling honey, so there's queen excluders on the ground. But most of my tops I have a hole drilled. It's about a one and a half inch hole. The bees working in there. And I just take this bucket, flip it over, let a little bit of that honey or that syrup drain out and put it on top and they'll start going through that hole and emptying out that bucket pretty quickly I have feed buckets on a lot of these colonies now I need to come back out with some more and also with my drill some of my lids don't have holes so I need to drill some more holes and get some more of these fed and it looks like I missed one right here. Get that one on. But once again, my purpose in doing this isn't that these bees are starving. Um, most of these colonies still have quite a bit of honey on them, left over from the fall nectar flow when all these Brazilian pepper trees here were blooming. The bees put on a lot of honey, made it through the winter well. But I'm just trying to get ready to make splits and bees really don't build up on honey. Honey is more of a survival food. They um, kind of sustain or maintain on honey, but they do build up on nectar. And so this one to one sugar syrup, it um, replicates a nectar flow and these um, queens really seem to start picking up laying and also the bees um, will start drawing new wax when you feed them well. And that allows the queens more room to lay as they start filling in some empty foundations with wax. It's a little too cold to go in and see what's going on this morning, but hopefully later this week as it warms up, we'll get to come back and see the effects of this feed. This is actually the coldest morning of the year here in Tampa. And even so, there's still plenty of forage for the bees. This is the Spanish needle. And this stuff's blooming all over this property. This is a farm field that hasn't been farmed in a while. And so it's grown over with weeds and a lot of the things the bees like. And also there's a few ponds right around here. And there's a bunch of willow that's blooming. And that's a real good source of um, pollen for the bees to build up brood on. So I'm going to go take a look at some of these willow trees. See what's happening. This willow is in full bloom. This is just about 40 yards from where my bee colonies are. And it's just getting to be about 55 degrees and the bees are already flying and working it. See the pollen on their legs. So that's a great sign. 
with this pollen along with the sugar syrup I fed, these queens should really start picking up and building up their population so I can get started making splits in about three weeks.